Hey, good morning to my intermediate guitar students. This is Mr. Axler here. And I'm going to be showing you guys today the tutorial on how to do If I Fell by the Beatles. Um, and then I'm going to ask you over the weekend, please, to submit a recording of yourself playing it. So let me just fix my camera here just for a little bit. Down a little bit. Good. That's better. Okay. So here we go. So you start with playing... <laughs> So it's a bar chord on the sixth, the sixth fret on the bar, and then you're creating um, essentially a minor bar. I'm sure that well you can see that. I'll do it that way. There you go. So it's on the um, two frets up on the fourth string and third string, and then one fret up on the second string. So that's our E flat minor chord. Just four strums down. If I fell in love with you, then what you're going to do is the next, everything goes down one. But instead of playing this position, you're going to do this. Would you promise to be true? And what I'm doing there is, uh, uh, there you go, <laughs> all on the same fret. And it's, it's hard to see this, but there we go. Fifth and seventh. The bar's on the fifth fret now. And all of these are on the same fret, these three, okay, which on the seventh fret. So we'll go back again. You start off with this position. If I fell in love with you, would you promise to be true? And then down one more. And help me. Okay. So we're that. So now we're at the fourth fret and the sixth fret for these three fingers. Then... Everything down to the first fret, bar the first fret, and then you're going to do two fingers, which is basically a minor seven position. Oops, there you go. Back. So this is the first fret. This is second string, and then there we go. Skip a string. You're now on the fourth string for this one. Understand. And goes all the way back up to where we started before. Because I've been in love before. Which is that, that E flat minor chord? And I found that love was. Born. And you'll see that I I kind of cheat sometimes on that chord by just doing one finger across. You can do this. I've got sausage fingers, so I have a hard time doing that. Um, but anyway, we'll go back to that again. To go. Was I been in love before? And I found that love was born. From there, it's all really relatively easy. And just, which I could do E minor. You could also do E minor seven, which is this. And that's kind of like this. And just holding hands. A seven. That's kind of leading us into um, the beginning of the song. So I'm going to do all that again a little slower. Here we go. E flat minor. E, let's take D major, or of course you guys can do it this way. Down one more, and then all the way down here. Okay, then up, back up here, and then here. E minor seven, A seven. Now we get to the main part of the song, which is just going to be D, if I can, E minor, F sharp minor. Okay, here's F sharp minor was just second bar, one finger. Now, you could do something tricky and go, um, which is just so tricky to you. So what that chord is, to, all right, so... That's like one of those intermediate crazy chords. First finger, um, sorry, pinky on the first string. And then this is back one fret and then over and over. That's called a diminished chord. F diminished. And back to E minor. And then we get to, which is just A7 sus, A7, a7 sus2, A7. Back to the top of that section. D, E minor, 
sharp minor. Now, if you can't do this little crazy thing, it's not terrible because you're here already. Just bring your pinky over here and go. It's not terrible. Watch again. Well, now I just proved myself wrong. Then G minor 7. Or I think it's just G minor actually there, which is just third fret. You can also do, which is probably a lot easier to do, which is going from this. So I'm taking the bar down a step, and then there. Okay. And then here. Okay, then we get to that D9 chord. So what that chord is here, your pinky is across, not pinky, your ring finger is across three strings on the fifth fret there. Then you have... One finger there and one finger there. Take a look at that, that position. So it's your ring fingers across those three strings. That's over on the fifth fret. This is on the on the fifth string. This is on the fourth string, back one fret. The whole thing is one, two, three, four, five, four, five. This is called D9. Five, four, five. That's relatively easy. That's just G chord, then G minor seven. The whole thing goes back up to top. So I hope you see that I would love to love you. D, D minor, F sharp minor seven, down one. Bump. Here comes that D9 again. And I'm not playing the bottom string. I'm not trying to at least. I'm just playing the top five strings. Sorry. Minor seven, go down one, D minor. Dum, bum, bum, bum. Here's the end. If I fell in love with you. a feel for it so um just a couple of the word chords would be like the d9 is the one sorry right and then i mentioned that diminished chord there it is again you're only playing the top four strings watch it again and from there you can just go to the you have some options there. Okay, so I hope this helps you guys in preparation. Please get a chance to play this over the weekend. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Thanks. Bye-bye.